Two days back, I did a poll on YouTube and I wanted to know, would you like to participate in the hackathon, the blockchain hackathon? And then after two days, we got around 3000 votes. And then the weird thing is, majority of you are saying, not now. So when I say majority, I'm talking about the 55% of people and then 45% people voted for, yes, they want to participate for the blockchain hackathon. Even that's a good number, right? Because in total, if you even if you say 2,700 votes, approximately 1,000 people want to participate in the hackathon. Now, coming back to the second part, the 55%, why they don't want to participate? I was wondering what's the reason? Maybe they don't know about Web3. Maybe they don't know about the programming language which is used to uh, make applications or they're not sure what to do in the hackathon specifically when it comes to blockchain. Now the thing is we have multiple blockchain hackathons coming up and in every blockchain we'll be having a different technology, we have, we'll be having a different problem statement and different prizes. In fact the prizes will be huge but then we are not doing it for the prizes right, we are doing it for the experience, we are doing it for the learning purpose. Now in the hackathon, you'll be getting a problem statement and you'll be getting around 24 hours or 44 hours depending upon the hackathon. And in that 24 hours, you have to stay there at one place. You can come solo, you can come with your team and you have to solve a problem statement. Now the thing is, can you really solve something in 24 hours? Of course, we'll not give you a problem statement which will take one year. Of course, we'll give you a problem statement which you can complete in 24 hours. And it's not like you can do that on one go, or maybe you're 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 coming there for the first time. You don't know blockchain, te you don't know blockchain technology, and then you say, "Hey, I want to win." No, that's not the case. But then, if you know something, if you know how to code in any blockchain technology, if you know what what is JavaScript, if you know Solidity, that's that's a, that's an advantage. But you can come there, understand the problem statement, and solve the problem. And of course, this will give you a good learning experience. It will give you a different vibe because this will be an offline hackathon. Now, the problem here is what if you don't know the blockchain technology? What if you don't know how to write a DApp application? And I thought, can we do that? Can we, uh, can we have a mixture here where I can train you on how to make DApps and then you can come to the hackathon and participate and try to compete? A different learning experience, right? You're learning and then you're also implementing. So that's where we are starting from this Monday. I'm starting with a blockchain course. Of course, this is not a full-fledged blockchain course. This is where we'll teach you how to build DApp. But there's a prerequisite for this. You need to know the blockchain technology basics. So what exactly blockchain means? What is cryptography? What is nodes? Now for that, you have to watch my playlist on blockchain. It only, only has 10 or 12 videos, I'm not sure. But then you can complete that in half a day or one day to, to by watching the videos to understand what blockchain technology is. You will find the link in description. Now once you complete that, from Monday, we are going to start with Ethereum because you can build application on this platform. Of course, we have different ecosystem as well, but for this, we are going to focus on Ethereum and we'll teach you Solidity and we'll build our first DApp, which is decentralized application. And after doing that, you can actually participate in the hackathons, trust me. If you know how to build one application, you can come there and try it out because you'll be having 24 hours, you're completely focused on one problem statement with your team or maybe solo, but when you're focused, you can achieve great things, right? So yeah, that's a plan. Again, that this is a rough plan. For more updates, you have to make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell icon because YouTube sometimes miss the notification, right? So more notification on the hackathons and on the live session is coming up. Uh, the timing is not fixed yet. We'll update that soon. But yeah, I wanted to give you some general idea about the hackathon and the live session on YouTube for blockchain. I'm actually excited. Uh, you can't see on my face because I'm tired today, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for this live session and I hope you are also. Let me in the comment section what exactly you want in this live session. I will try to achieve that, of course. But uh, we, we have a structured content prepared at least now. But if there's something which is interesting, we can add that in the live session as well. So yeah, that's it from this video. Uh, see you in the live session coming on Monday. Yes, if you're getting confused, we also are running our Java live session that will be running in parallel. Uh, we'll not be doing blockchain from uh, in the entire week. Maybe we can do alternate days, Java and blockchain. Uh, that should work, right? And of course, for that, to understand the future updates, make sure that you click on that bell icon. Thanks, thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.